What's going on guys, Constant Gaming here and welcome back. So, in today's video I'm going to be showcasing the new Dire Wolf that has recently came out. I've already done a video on the giant toad or the giant frog or whatever it is, um, the BLZ Bufo. And I'm going to be showing off how good the wolf is um, against other creatures, what its damage is like, if it's worth getting and all that stuff. Now, taming it, it does take about... This one was level 28 when we tamed it. It took us... It would, if we did it with raw meat, it would have took us two hours. But we used one kibble and about six primes. Took us about an hour and a half. Um, when you tame them, you don't need saddles for them, though. Which is good. Very good thing, actually. Because saddles do cost a lot if you want to mass-produce an army of... Uh, dinos, and I know we're going to be getting more of these. We were going to get two yesterday, but we only managed to get one. Uh, we lost the other one in the forest. It ran off somewhere. I don't know where it went. But I'm going to show off how good this is against other creatures, comparing it to the Sabre, because it's a lot like the Sabre. The only difference, really, is the speed. The Sabre 2 seems to be a lot faster with movement, and the wolf has, I think it has better damage, has decent stamina, but first I'll show you the stats, what we got on it right now. So, we have 1,250 health, well, let's say 50, even though it's 49. Uh, stamina is 360, well, that's relatively good for this, it doesn't really burn through it that quick. The weight is decent, it's got enough weight to carry me with all my gear, I've got all these guns and stuff, which weigh down quite a lot. It's melee damage so far is 168.7, and it's movement speed is 130, which is pretty cool. So we're just going to go around testing it out against other creatures, seeing how good it is really, see how much damage it can take and how much damage it can dis dish out. It's actually taking a while to kill this turtle because it's level 80. It attacks really fast though. It probably attacks a lot faster than most of the most other dinos on this island. Oh, this guy's taking a while. Um, I don't know if this has any certain harvesting abilities, um, like the saber harvests chitin, but I don't know if this actually harvests anything at all. I think it's just used for a really good battle mount. I know if you have um, a few of them and they're mate boosted, one becomes the alpha and becomes really strong. But when I say it becomes an alpha, it doesn't light up red and flash and glow and all that, have the smoke effects. It's just a normal wolf with buffed stats. But these in a pack are really good. If you're taming them in the snow biome, you have to be really careful. We airdrop them in with our Gentivis into our box. We set up this box for them. So we airdrop them in, and they were a lot easier to tame. But regarding taming them in the snow biome, you'll probably die. They do a lot of damage. Probably one going to be one of my most favourite battle mounts now. They're very good. I'm just going to get a pack of them. I also need to tame some of the deers. I know they're adding uh, a female version of the deer that's currently in, the one without the horns, which is pretty cool. But this doesn't really do that much damage at the moment. It has 168. Is it 168 damage? What if farms? I don't know if it farms a unique thing. I think it's good for hide, actually. When I looked on the website, I think it had the same stats, the same ability as a raptor. I think the raptors are good for hide. I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll test them on multiple animals. This parasaur is obviously going to die really quick. Yeah, by the looks of it, it looks like it's good for hide because we got a bunch in that. Compared to the meat. Wait, come back here. Come back here! You will not escape me. Whoa, a bit of lag there. So yeah, this one we actually painted white, besides its um, tail and its furry mane. We left that its default colour that it came with. We tamed it, but we painted it a nice snow white, so it looks really, really cool. And don't ask me why it's named that, I didn't name it, one of my tribe mates did. Edme. Apparently it's a character, a wolf character out of a book or something that they were reading, so, you know. It's alright. You need to kill a Stilo. Yeah. Yeah, it attacks really fast compared to other dinos. I think it might attack better than the Sabre. Oh. 
Oh no. His friend's joining in. You wanna go? You wanna go? Let's have a fight. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, um, this jumps relatively far as well. It's like, well, I think it's, it is pretty much a duplicate of the saber tooth, but different harvesting abilities, different stats, obviously. And I want to see if this is any good at swimming. Uh, it's a bit bigger than the saber as well. I think it's only slightly bigger. Let's quickly cut this. Oh, some ants. Let's see if it's good for chitin. Uh, by the looks of it, it's not that good. It's got the Maganeros attacking us. Oh, I think the server's lagging. Unless that's just sliding. Oh, yes, the server was lagging. Yeah, uh, the Arc official servers have been lagging quite a lot recently. It's a bit annoying. But there's nothing we can do about it. Oh god, there's another one here now. When will this music end? It's constant battle music. Stop it. Oh, there's a weird blood effect there on my guy. <coughs> right, let's test this thing for swimming. I'm see if it's any good. Getting across water. Jump. Oh. Well, that's hardly swimming now, isn't it? Yes. You're getting a bit deeper water. Oh, here we go. Oh. It doesn't... Uh, no, it's not like it for swimming. Well, obviously you're not going to be using it as a aquatic mount. It's just going to be for getting past rivers and stuff. Kill these stupid piranhas. Alright, pain in the arse. Ooh, let's see how quickly we can kill these pigs. I know they run away. I want to, like, hunt one down. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Wrong timing. Uh, it's got a decent amount of meat. But I need to hunt down that pig. Like a true wolf would do. Rah, lunch! Yeah. Run into the kill. Don't drown on me. There you go. Got a gun one to me off that. Yeah, it's really good that you don't have to have a saddle for this because you won't have to waste resource, uh, research points now. So, this is pretty good, really. Hello there. Do you like my teeth? Do you like my teeth? Punch in the face for you. He's been eating something. Looks like he's been eating something that's very cool. Might actually could paint his teeth red, that would look pretty damn cool. Might have to start playing around with the paints on this guy. Make him look like a true battle wolf. But we're gonna run this guy back to the map now anyway. Because I've showed off really what he can do. He's seen his damage and his stats. He's a decent battle man. When you max this out, when you get this guy to like, I don't know, let's say 500% damage. I don't. I think a thousand's a bit too much, but... I normally get a 500% damage in all my things, unless it's a Rex or a Spino, then I go for a thousand damage, just because it's better for raiding and it's uh, wrecking other people in war. But a pack of these guys, all with really good stats, are going to be so overpowered, because if the AI ones can almost kill you, then player mounted ones that have buffed health and damage are going to be even better. <coughs> There's a guy on the frog there. Oh, there's a game unit on a frog, my sister. Jumping around, licking that parasol to death. The frog does actually knock him out with its tongue. It's got like a poisonous tongue or something. It does knock him out. I'm gonna kill this. I'll actually, no, I won't. I'll just let her kill it. Knock it out, even. Go! You can do this! Get it! Go! Go! That's quite funny, actually, just watching a frog chase a parasaur around. <laughs> oh, that's good. 
Anyway, I'm going to bring this back to the base now, and I've got something really, really cool at the base to show you guys, but I'm not going to show you in this episode, in this video, because I want to save it for tomorrow. It's going to be really cool, and you're probably going to love it. Well, guys, just want to thank you all for watching. That is pretty much it for the video. We've gone over and covered everything to do with the wool. I don't think I've missed anything. I've shown off how good of a battle mount it is, how long they roughly take to tame. Like, a level 40 one would take, about well, four hours, I think. I googled the calculator, and it was four hours. Because the level 20 one was two hours of normal raw meat, but we buffed it a little bit with one kibble and about six primes. Didn't do that much. But I'm just going to thank you all for watching, guys. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video as something really cool I'm going to be showing off. And I'll see you then.